if a, uh, a change in the DNA nucleotide sequence occurs, that's what's known as a mutation, and that can occur during the translation or the transcription processes. Let's take a look at some possibilities. Um, there are some mutations known as silent mutations, which generally have no all overall impact. So one type of silent mutation is when a codon mutates to another codon that still codes for the same amino acid. So for example, if UUU were mutated to UUC, both of those amino acids code for phenylalanine, so that would not have any impact. Another type of silent mutation would be a change in protein sequence occurs, but it has minimal or no effect on the protein function. So for example, if the codon AUU, which codes for isoleucine, is mutated to GUU, uh, which codes for valine, these two amino acids are similar in polarity and size, and so it's likely that such a substitution would not have um, much impact on the protein function. And here are the line structures of valine and isoleucine, and we see the nonpolar side chain um, of these two amino acids are nonpolar and similar in size. Mutations that occur that do affect the protein function occur when um, codons mutate um, to code for very different amino acids. So for example, of AUU, which is for isoleucine, is mutated to AAU, which is asparagine, then we would be replacing a nonpolar amino acid with a polar amino acid. So here's the amino acid um, asparagine, and it has a polar side chain, and as we saw earlier, isoleucine has a nonpolar side chain. So that switching out of a polar for a nonpolar side chain is going to most likely impact the structure of the protein that is synthesized, which will then impact its function. Um, another mutation that can have a negative impact on protein synthesis is when um, um, uh, the mutation of a codon changes it into a stop codon or if um, a codon somehow gets another base inserted in it, and so there's no longer triplets, there's like an, an extra codon is, is added, well, the transfer RNA is still going to read just triplets. So that means the sequence of that messenger RNA is completely off, and then the protein that is going to be synthesized is nothing like the protein that was originally meant to be synthesized. So knowing that, let's take a look at sample problem 11.10. Uh, messenger RNA has the sequence of codons 5 prime CCC, AGA, GCC 3 prime. If a base substitution in the DNA changes the mRNA codon of AGA to GGA, how is the amino acid sequence affected in the resulting protein? Can you predict if this might have an impact on the protein function? So pause the video and answer the question. So by looking at the meaning of the codons, um, the original sequence codes for proline, arginine, and alanine. And when the mutation occurs, then um, the new sequence is proline, glycine, alanine. So arginine, which is polar, is replaced with glycine, which is not polar. And so that means that this um, mutation could have an impact on protein structure and therefore function.